guys, it is Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming another Zara haul. You're probably all sick of hearing those words come out of my mouth because I literally film a Zara haul like every week. <laughs> it feels like I'm always doing Zara orders because I literally always have a box of Zara clothes. I feel like every single day or like every couple of days I'm getting a Zara package and my mum's like, Grace, what the hell are you ordering now? This Zara haul is a little bit different. They have a sale on. A sale. A sale. A sale. They have a sale on um, at the minute. It was quite a few cute bits. However, they're more basic stuff. A lot of the stuff in this haul is more basic pieces. So if you want to see like, if you want to see more puffy sleeves and like bright colours, go watch my other Zara haul. I think the title of it is Oops, I did it again. Or maybe even the other one. If you want to see more bright colours because this one is a little bit plain compared to the others but that was mostly the stuff that was in the sale so I kind of picked up those sort of bits. As I've mentioned in my previous video I need more basics for holiday because turns out I'm going on my holiday now so holiday now so I need good like holiday staple basics. The majority of these items are in the sale. I literally have three different boxes of clothes. If that's not what you call Zara addiction I don't know what is. I could never get bored of this. Open up a freshly packaged Zara parcel. They wrap it so nicely as well. I'm gonna show these two items together because I thought they could look quite cute together. The first item I'm gonna show you is this adorable little bodysuit. So it's one shoulder and it has like a ruffle on it, which I love. It's kind of like ruched, I don't know what you'd call this. Um, and then it has a ruffle going down it. And yeah, it's kind of like cotton. It's not like t-shirt material, it's like proper cotton. And then it has a little bodysuit bit. And yeah, it's just really, really cute. This would look so nice. I think this would look so nice with a pair of jeans and like little strappy sandal heels. I think this is such a like versatile piece. I don't think this was in the sale though. It is £25.99. I don't think it's too bad for like a dressy top. Um, it's really cute. I really love this. Um, I can't wait to see what this looks like on. I just hope it meets my expectations. I have a little skirt to sort of go with it, but this does actually look quite big. I love wearing skirts because I feel like they're just so much more comfy than short. Lol, it's a skull. <laughs> There's me going on about how it's a skirt. It's not, it's a skull. Even better because I think skirts actually look a lot nicer because they're more structured and they're normally shorter as well because I hate long skirts. I hate it. I hate when a skirt looks like it's meant to be mini and then you put it on and it's like long, it's like ugh. I feel like that never happens when I buy sculpts, so I'm hoping this is cute. I have the bodysuit on and I actually really like this. I think it's kind of like dressy, but also you can wear it with jeans at the same time. I like the ruffle, I just think it's really classy. I feel like Audrey Hepburn in this, it's like that sort of vibe, like classy. I love the cut of it. I think it's very classic, but also a little bit sexy because it's got the other arm out i think this is really nice and i do think i'll probably keep the bodysuit i'm not too keen on this skirt because number one it's a little bit big for me and number two it's too long for a school this is just way too long for a school i mean maybe i could put it up and like i don't know maybe if, maybe if it was in a smaller size it'd look better but in this size i'm not keen it does go quite well with the bodysuit i just I'm not too keen on the skirt. I think the sculpt's gonna go back and then I'll keep the bodysuit. Next thing I got was just a really cute bodysuit. So this is like Barbie pink. This one was definitely this out. I think it was around 10 pound, which I thought was so good. Um, and it's got these bows on it, which I thought was so cute. When I ordered this, it was on a bit of a whim. I was a bit like, oh, I'll order that, see what it's like. But now I'm looking at it, I do feel like this could be really cute just because it's a pop of color. I love adding pops of color in the summer. I don't really wear bright colors a lot. It would be really nice to add this to my wardrobe to kind of spice things up a little bit. I love anything with a bow on it as well. So this actually may be a key part. So I've got the bow top on. I do really like this. I like this, but I feel like it's kind of childish. It is a tiny bit uncomfortable as well. I think you can do no wrong with a bow. Like stick a bow on the front of something and it just takes it from a five to a 10. It's very flattering. Like it cinches you in. And it looks cute. It does look cute tucked into little denim shorts. But I just don't know if I need it. But for like £10, you really can't go wrong with this. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's very good. It's very girly. Very Barbie. But I don't know. Do I need it? Probably not. The next thing I've got is such a basic but such a wardrobe staple for summertime. I do feel like every single girl has one of these. But I do think they're just like an essential. It is this little bodysuit. Before they became really popular, I got the black and the white one. But for some reason, I never got the nude. And the nude's actually probably my favourite colour out of all of them. I just think it's so nice. I started getting loads of hype and they were constantly out of stock. It's fully stocked, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can get your hands on this when you're watching it. 
But honestly, I wish I got the nude all along because I don't really wear the black and the white one. But I think it's so cute. We have the bodysuit on. I absolutely love this. I think the colour is so flattering. The fit is so flattering. You can actually get away with wearing no bra with this, which I think is amazing as well. I actually love this so much. I love the colour of it. It's the sort of beige colour that will complement your skin tone. I think it's so nice. I feel like this would look good on like every skin tone as well, which I think is amazing. If this is still in stock, you need to get your hands on this. You can wear this with blazers, denim jackets on its own. It's so comfy. It's so light. I got this little top, not only to wear on holiday, but also just to wear because I love this style of top. Because I love this style of top. So I got this like white bardo kind of top. Even though this haul is all basics, you guys knew I had to have some sort of frilliness. I think this will look really nice on. I have the next little white top on. I absolutely love this. The only thing I'm thinking is, again, I do feel like when I wear tops that are a bit frilly, I feel a bit mumsy. I love the look of them. I love the puffy sleeves and everything. But they just make me feel a bit mum. I do think it's really pretty. Um, but I don't want to feel like I'm a mum when I'm 17. <laughs> the only thing is it's a little bit annoying because the sleeves keep falling down. Like, I want it to stay. But I think it is really cute. And I can imagine, like, just frolicking around on holiday in this. Next thing I got, this was also in the sale. I just can imagine like a Swedish blogger wearing this. Do you get what I mean? Do any of you follow Matilda? I could just so imagine her in this top with like flared jeans or like mum jeans and then she'd wear it with like platform heels. Do you know what I mean? Like a proper 70s sort of look. And I just love how like, I love how strappy it is and it's silky. I do kind of feel like this has Mamma Mia vibes to it, which is just the energy I'm going for, really. I've got the little pink zebra top on. I think this is so cute. This would be such a vibe for holiday. I, I do think I'll keep this because I love the way it looks with shorts. So it ties up at the back. I don't think you could get away with wearing this in England just because it literally is like a bikini top. But I think on holiday, however, this would be really cute. It can't just be me, but every single year I go off all my bikinis and I feel like I need to just buy a whole new lot of them. I don't know why. I think it's because when you're on holiday, you wear... I normally wear, like, my bikinis a couple times. I think I just get bored of them. I need a new bikini draw this year. And I decided to pick up a bikini. I picked up this yellow string bikini. I love the colour of this. It's, like, proper banana yellow. Like, it literally is the same colour as a banana. Like, I love it. I love triangle bikinis as well. I also don't think it's a bad price either for a bikini. The bottoms are £10 and the top is £12. Okay, so I have the bikini on. I'm not going to show you the bottoms, but the top is actually adorable. For some reason, I didn't think I'd want to keep this, but I definitely want to keep this. I love this so much. The colour, I can't even tell you how perfect it is. Like, it's the perfect shade of yellow. If you was to have, like, lemon ice cream or banana ice cream, this would be the colour. I'm going gonna, gonna to keep it. I love this. I much prefer simpler bikinis and this is very simple yet I think effective as well. You may be able to hear my dog downstairs. He's only a puppy so he cries every time we go upstairs. He's fine. We've just gone upstairs and he doesn't like it. He's a bit of a princess. The next thing I got was a pair of shoes because I feel like I just need a pair. Fingers crossed I'll be able to go out on nights out again. So I'm hoping I get to wear these. Um, they're like strappy sandals. These are real leather so they're not going to rub me. They're going to be comfy. They're just going to last longer. I love the style of these as well. I'm not going to try them on camera, but I'll put a picture of what they look like on the website here. A little bit smaller than I was expecting, not going to lie, but I think that's actually better. I do think that's better because at least I'll be able to walk properly in them. Next thing I got is a little bit different to what I was expecting. I don't know if they called it shapewear dress, but it's like just a plain black dress. I was expecting to maybe be able to wear this with the heels and just have like a basic, just have like a basic black outfit do you get what i mean you have the black dress on you know what it's actually a lot tighter than i expected which is good i was thinking it looks really baggy like if i holding it up like this it looks really baggy i'm actually really happy with this it doesn't really have much to it i know it's just a basic bodycon dress but they could have maybe done it backless or like have a low scoop back like, or they could have i don't know maybe made this bit a bit more racer back i guess the fit of it is kind of like the bodysuit and the materials like the bodysuit as well the next thing I've got just has such Mamma Mia energy. It's this blue top. It's kind of like Brodie on Glaze, but it's in this blue colour with white, with white stitching. It's very frilly, very me. But also I could just imagine, I could just imagine this being worn in Mamma Mia, couldn't you? I do think this has to come with me to Greece, just purely because of the fact. It just looks like it's been made to be put in the movie, really, doesn't it? If we're going to Greece this summer, you definitely need this. Such Mamma Mia vibes. So imagine running around the cliffs 
with this on. I'm probably not going to be running around on any cliffs, but you get what I mean. We've got the Mamma Mia top on. I am obsessed with this. It would be rude not for me to take this to Greece. Like, it's so, like, Greek vibes. I love the colour of it. I love, like, the scalloping. I just think it's so, like, floaty and, like, pretty. If you're going to Greece this summer, you need this top. It's so cute. The last thing I got was just a pair of gold heels. I actually had a really similar pair of these from last year. I knackered them out because I wore them to literally every single function. You could imagine, like, I wore them on nights out. I wore them to, like, YouTube events. I wore them to weddings. Like, I literally wore these shoes. I wore them to everything, and they just got really dirty and gross. These are 30 quid, and they're the comfiest shoes, and they literally go with everything. For 30 quid, you just can't go wrong with these. These are such a wardrobe staple for me, just because they go with literally everything. That was everything in the haul. I do kind of feel like this haul was a bit random compared to my others. The other ones have, like, consistent style throughout them, whereas this is just, like, a mismatch of Mamma Mia, like, bright pink there's just a there's just a load of random stuff in this haul but i feel like that always happens when you shop in the sale because it's all just random bits that they basically can't sell let me know if you picked up anything good in the zara sale i always leave it too late or i've already bought all of the good stuff so there's nothing i actually want this year i did find a few gems so i hope you enjoyed give this video a big thumbs up if you did definitely subscribe for more haul videos if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys Mwah.